everybody, welcome back to Happy Bake Day, where every day is a happy bake day. I hope your matcha raspberry marble swirl pound cake turned out absolutely incredible. If you missed that episode, of course, you can check it out right here. Now, if you've been following me on Instagram, you'll notice that I have been posting all sorts of really fun Halloween content. And seeing as how it's the beginning of October, which is my favorite month, and with Halloween coming not too far from now, we are going to be making a really fun take on a classic recipe. We're going to be making eclairs, but they're going to be filled with a blood red, red velvet cream center. This recipe today will be made in a few different parts. Part one is to make the pastry cream. And we want to make that first because it's going to need time to chill in the refrigerator. Part two is going to be making the shoe pastry part itself. And then the last part is the chocolate ganache topping. Now to make the shoe pastry, please check out my episode on the mango coconut cream puffs. That will show you the steps on making the pastry dough as well as the ingredients you're going to need for that. I will not be showing that here in this recipe uh, video today. Now for our pastry cream, our red velvet delicious creamy center, you're going to need the following ingredients. Two cups of whole milk, one half vanilla beans split, six large egg yolks, two thirds cup of granulated sugar, quarter teaspoon of salt, quarter cup of cornstarch, one tablespoon of red velvet baking emulsion, one tablespoon of unsalted butter cold, and then we will also need one cup of heavy whipping cream. Now to make our pastry cream, part of this will be done over on our stove, so we're going to move over there. pastry cream is done and chilling in the refrigerator. Now while mine is chilling, I did go ahead and I made my shoe pastry dough right here. So this is going to be perfectly ready to pipe our eclairs. I have a piping bag fitted with a large star tip attachment. And then I've lined a baking sheet with some parchment paper. Now I do have an eclair baking tray. If you don't have an eclair tray, that's okay. It will work with a regular normal baking tray. We're just gonna line it with some parchment paper. We're going to transfer our shoe dough into our piping bag. And we're going to pipe the pastry dough in a straight line about six inches long. Once you've piped your line, instead of using your star tip to kind of break or cut the end of the dough, we're going to use a pair of kitchen shears to just snip the end so that way it's a nice straight line and it'll be perfectly formed on the edges. <music> Our next step is to make an egg wash. Combine one egg with one teaspoon of water and whisk until everything is fully incorporated. Then use a basting brush to baste the egg wash over top of each of your eclairs, then this will be ready for baking. I did preheat my oven to 400 degrees. You're going to place each baking tray into the oven one at a time. You're going to bake your eclairs at 400 degrees for 15 minutes and then you're going to reduce the temperature of your oven to 350 degrees and you're going to bake for another 15 to 20 minutes more or until you see them puffed up and beautifully golden brown. As soon as they're done, pull it out of the oven and immediately poke two to three small holes along the bottom of your eclairs. Then you can put them on a wire rack and let them cool completely. You want to poke the holes so that way the steam can escape and they'll stay nice and puffy and beautiful. And then we'll be ready to make them 
bowl and assemble them the rest of the way. For this next step, I have my heavy whipping cream here in a bowl. I've also got a handheld electric mixer. I'm going to whip my heavy whipping cream until it turns into whipped cream. And then I'm going to add my whipped cream here into my bowl of my blood red, red velvet custard. And I'm going to fold the whipped cream in until a nice smooth consistency forms. This is now, instead of it being a custard, it's considered an ambassador cream with the addition of the whipped cream. After that, this will be ready to be piped into our beautiful eclairs. The next step is to transfer our blood red ambassador cream into a piping bag fitted with a small round tip. You're going to carefully pipe the cream into each of your eclairs into the holes that you already poked for ventilation. Be careful not to overfill these. Once your eclair is filled, place it on a baking tray and put it in your refrigerator. Our filled eclairs are in the refrigerator and the next step is to make our chocolate ganache. For that, you're going to need the following ingredients. Four ounces of dark or semi-sweet chocolate and one half cup of heavy whipping cream. What you're going to do first is you're going to chop your chocolate very finely and put it in a medium mixing bowl. Then you're going to warm your heavy cream on the stove until you start seeing it simmer and get a little bit bubbly around the edges. After that, pour your hot cream over your chocolate and let it sit for about two to four minutes until your chocolate is nice and softened. After that, take a silicone spatula and mix everything together until a really smooth consistency forms. Now that our chocolate ganache is done, the next step is to dip the tops of our filled eclairs. You'll carefully dip each top of the eclair into the chocolate and then replace the filled eclair back on your baking tray. After that, you're going to put your whole baking tray back into the refrigerator and chill for an hour or until the ganache has hardened. And with that, our eclairs are done. I have mine here sitting on a really cute little pumpkin plate. I did let them chill in the refrigerator for about an hour for the ganache to harden and they look fabulous. You can see a little bit of the red cream center peeking out from the sides, which is okay. And you can choose to let them come up a little bit more to room temperature if you'd like before serving, or you could actually serve them chilled as well. Thank you so much for joining me today while we made our gorgeous eclairs filled with the blood red, red velvet cream center. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have fun baking with me today. I appreciate each and every single subscriber as you join me on this journey from banker to banker. Don't forget to visit my website or follow me on social media for this and all of my other great recipes. Until next time, I hope you have a very happy bake day.